Hello guys, this is a coding back tutorial video for start word in the string1 section. Given a string and a second word string, we'll say that the word matches the string if it appears at the front of the string, except its first character is not like to match exactly. On a match, turn the front of the string or otherwise turn the empty string. So with the string hippo, the word hi returns hi and xip returns hip. The word will be at least length 1. In this problem, you're comparing the string str and string word. And if string word is in front of the string str, then they match. And the first characters of each string do not need to match each, each other exactly. In the first example, you're given the strings hippo and hi. Since hi is in front of the string hippo, then you'll just return hi. Second example, you're given the strings hippo and xip. Even though the first characters are not equal to each other, uh, it doesn't really matter. And the second and the third characters are equal to each other, which means that you'll just return hip. In the third example, you're given the strings hippo and i. And like I said before, the first characters of each string do not need to match each other. and I'll just return h since the string str is going up to the length of 1, which is the same as the length of the word. So to solve this problem, you have to consider two cases. In the first case, you have to check if the length of str is greater than 0, and if the, the string str starts with string word, regardless of their first characters. And we can use do this by using the string methods substring and starts with. And str substring one that starts with word substring one. The one here, the ones here represent the index that each other string is going to start with. And if the if it does start with where that substring one, then we will just return str dot substring zero comma word dot length. And like here you'll go from the index 0, which is the first letter, up to the length of the word. If this condition doesn't match to the string and the word, then you'll just return an empty string. Thank you for watching this video, and goodbye.